yeah. about the cooperatives. Okay. Oh, great. Excellent. So, um, Hir is a fantastic entrepreneur and uh, he had an IT background, MS degree in the US, came back, worked for Accenture. So, he realized that, you know, um, you want to make an impact. So, he took a break, spent two years understanding as a cooperative, as a sector. So, if you look at from our side, cooperative is something like a done and dusted, you know, like if you see any brick and mortar shop, there is a person manning it, he will be retiring tomorrow. So, there is no motivation. So what's happening in the cooperative? Two things changed. 2012 and uh, UN recognized cooperatives as another, another third economy. Because after the recession, they saw that these guys never had any problem. Taking the cue from that, Indian government uh, made an amendment to the uh, law making the cooperatives autonomous. So that means if there is any progressive cooperative, they'll be able to do things in a 21st century way. So that's where uh, he, he brought that in, he built an online platform. So he has uh, uh, e-directory services where people come and, come and do it for free. And then e-listing, so for a fee you put your cooperative name. And then he enables the trade management, right? Somebody put a query, so he sends a SMS because most of his cooperatives in a rural area, there's no English. So he sends an SMS about the trade inquiry, talk to them and helps them to take a picture of that and can, you know, creates this uh, trade op management possible, right? So the third one is if you are a progressive marketing agency like Apto, Cooptex, uh, you know, uh, Ponyo that is in the Orissa side, so you can enable them online, right? So he has an e-commerce platform. Today, Apco is uh, online. If you buy a Pachampali series, that's powered by GoCoa. And fantastic, it's, uh, he enabled them the entire supply chain, how to pack it, and he helped them with getting all the necessary approvals. So my wife bought a churida, he said, like a flip card, every process, SMS, email comes through, India Post delivered it. Fantastic, right? So there is another new wave of you know, energy for India Post for these kind of activities, right? Interestingly, app goes online, 30% of it coming from abroad. So that's another key area. When would you ever would have thought about you know having some of those cooperatives able to reach the overseas market? So that's possible. This is very interesting. But the other angle which which I like a lot, the impact angle, right? So he, he identifies a cluster. Uh, if you take a northern Karnataka, Muglapur is one cluster weaving community, 500 years old of tradition, but people are leaving the tradition because it's no longer a viable economically. So he went there, analyzed there, what is the problem? Very simple thing says they are buying the yarn on lending, you know, from the local loan shops and do a weaving and sell it and pay back. This lending is very, very expensive, right? So then you're asking why you're not buying from a silk board accredited agent. He said, they're not even here. So he enabled them. He went to the silk board, brought the people, and now silk board as an agent for this region. So now they're buying the, from through the accredited people, 20% savings in the price. That money directly goes into the weaver's pocket. So now they see the wall, there is some guys helping us and he's telling, okay, now you come to my platform, I can enable trade inquiries, right? So now the same team, within going online, they got a hundred kind of some bulk order. He called them, can you do it? They were so excited. He said, okay, go to the nearby place, you know, in your village, find a guy with the camera phone. Take the picture, go to the nearest place and send me an email of that picture. They did it overnight and got the email and the trade closed, they were able to deliver it. Now, so this is where the impact we are doing. So now look at the numbers, 600,000 cooperatives in India, right? And in that, at the top is the agri side, but now we are focusing on handloom. Next we will focus on agri. Handloom alone, there are 24,000 crore market. That's fantastic, and if you enable that itself, there's a major impact. So my message to the entrepreneurs is that you know, top reading tech crunch and emulate Silicon Valley. Instead, go deeper in understanding the India needs. Uh, Red bus, right? I have a Stazula which is booking hotels for tier three and tier four cities. We have GoCoop that enables cooperatives online, six hundred thousand. Then there is a company called Ecotier that has a CRM for farmers. Right? So he just charges like 50 bucks a per farmer per year. He got 10,000 farmers running using his software. So like this, you know, there are thousands of opportunities. If you look deeper, you can become a billion dollar company just charging 50 dollars 
per person per year you are a billion dollar company yeah that's